What's up guys, my name's Kev. Welcome back to World of Tanks. Today, what are we doing? We're reviewing the under the auction. As you can see, mine went well. Kind of. I didn't bid on yesterday's um, tank because I didn't really care to get it and there's no chance I would have gotten it with 29,000 gold. Too many people wanted it, honestly. Um, and I was too busy playing Sky Factory 4, which, if you're watching this, this is released. I will be playing that again today on stream. It's tons of fun. So, I ended up playing for eight hours yesterday. And getting uh, a lot of progress done and then dying because I was playing in hardcore and losing the world. But anyway... You didn't come here for that. You came here for World of Tanks. Under the auction. How much did I bid on the two tanks that I got? And, um... <laughs> did I overspend? Uh, well, yes. And I spent 43800 on this. The QL with the Dragon's Breath coming out of the barrel. And I think it was... 12... Somewhere between twelve and 15000 for the AMBT. Do I like either of these tanks? Uh, the QL is okay. Um, I don't particularly love the AMB. <laughs> the AMBT is... You know, for 250 millimeters of turret armor, they sure depend just your frontal turret armor a lot in this tank. But it... Doesn't really matter. All these tanks were just kind of novelty tanks. Like, I don't know. But I do like having this, at least. I'm glad I got this out of it. Because is, it is very, it is a very cool tank. So, I do enjoy the fact that I got this one. But, uh, overall, I think it was a, a decent event. Um, the amount of free experience that the 2685 went for was ridiculous. So, there was that. But, other than that, it was, um, I think it was a fair thing. Because it was right after Christmas when everybody still had their gold from the loot boxes. So, I, I feel like it was fair for everyone to bid not just like top clan players that get a ton of uh, clan wars gold so it was it was definitely fair uh, I loved seeing uh, this tank flood the matchmaker at 12 a.m um, what was that what day was that what day was this on sale Monday Monday morning or Tuesday morning at 12 a.m. this thing <laughs> we finally got them and everybody queued up in them and it was like it was brilliant there was four on each team such an easy tank to play and terribly difficult to master but it is fun to play I have to admit it's like I don't know I've never played the 5a so I'm trying to I'm still trying to get used to it it's so much like a 277, it's not even funny. <laughs> but it feels slower. I don't know why. I think it's just because on my 277, I have a ridiculous crew. And I don't have that ridiculous crew yet. Also, I need to get field mods, obviously. But I just got the tank, so there's that. But yeah, overall, I like... I like the black market or under the hammer auctions more than I like the loot box tanks, honestly. Not the Christmas loot box tanks either, though. I'm talking about a tank like this, the Astron Rex. This was not a rewarding loot box. You just got the chance to get the tank. And I didn't like that. But I did get it out of my first box. Or whatever. Like, my first 
50 boxes. So it was my first premium tank that I got out of them. So I can't be that mad about it. But those Halloween boxes were garbage. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. I do need a better crew for it. Obviously, two skills on the rest of the crew is garbage. But um, I also I don't have any crew members to train up and put in here. And I haven't gone down the 5A line whatsoever. So, it sucks. But... This tank will only get better with the crew. And I'm already kind of enjoying it. It's not been great. It's not a F VZ-55 or a IS-7 with the turbo build. But it is a good tank. Now the AMBT, I have a love-hate relationship with this tank. Let's go. Beefy alpha for a medium. It just takes so long to reload the shells that it's just a pain to play. Feels like it just feels like you're reloading forever in this tank. Regardless of whether you're firing all three shots or just firing the first one, or just the first two, it doesn't matter, you're still gonna feel like you're reloading forever. The armor on the turret does not bounce anything. Doesn't matter where they hit you. Apparently, I've been pinned here, I've been pinned here, I've been pinned here, 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 here. And obviously in the massive shell trap under the gun, um, the upper plate didn't bounce anything. Also, I got pinned in the upper plate while I was above someone. I know it was the upper plate because all I could get over the ridge line was my gun. So they had to see the top of my upper plate and then my shell trap. And then I saw them shoot my upper plate. Um, it's like all lower tiered American hulls to where if you get shot in the side, you're gonna get pinned. And um, don't let them behind you because HE rounds will tear you apart from behind. The view range is garbage. <laughs> the camo is actually ridiculous, except for whatever reason I always got spotted even when I was in bushes. Uh, I just, <laughs> I didn't have a good play session when I played this tank, so I don't know if I was just playing bad or the tank's actually not that good. But it's a cool tank design in theory. It's like a CS63 at tier eight that's slow, but it has the same armor profile, more gun depression, and an auto reloader. That's basically the way I, I, I think of it. Like I'm not playing it the same way. I'm just like thinking of the armor like it's a CS63 drop down two tiers, right? So you have garbage hull armor and uh, should be a decent turret. It's funny because um, every AMBT that I shot at pinned me and I did not pin them. So I'm, I'm starting to think I just re really suck in this tank. Also the accuracy is piss poor for <laughs> um, a medium tank that has 30% camo and stationary. Then 6% camo after firing. That's like tank destroyer levels of camo. And just compare that to the, the super pershing. Like, jeez. Also, we figured out, me and my friend, we were playing together. Um, without the Capola, the LTTB would be a taller tank than this. So... That's probably why the camo is so good at tier 8 medium. That's a ridiculous camo. Like, there's just no comparison to that. Especially American. So. But overall. Uh, I think it was a good thing. It, uh, this is a premium tank, by the way. You do make extra credits, it seemed. 
to me anyway. I was making like 50k on a loss without any boosters, so I'm assuming that you do actually get the extra credits, because it did seem like I was making credits while playing it. Uh, you do not <laughs> in the 111, uh, but it seems like you do in this. It's not a reward tank, it's a premium, I guess. But, I don't know. It could... Yeah, okay, it is a premium. You do make more credits. So, anybody who bought it and didn't realize that it is does have credit um, making, uh, congratulations, now you know. Uh, for everybody else who's potentially watching this video today, though, twitch.tv slash covehopper with three Ps for some reason. Twitch has adopted a way for people to have duplicate names and somebody has already taken my name. So, yeah. Uh, it'll be linked down in the description below, but I'll be playing Sky Factory. If anyone is interested in that, Sky Factory 4, it is a Skyblock Minecraft mod pack. Um... And I should be playing it for pretty much the rest of the day until, who knows, maybe until rank battles start or until advances start. So, I will see you guys there if you are watching this today and uh, are so inclined. And for everybody else, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.